I'm going to teach you how to make my grandma's caramel popcorn recipe. First, get your brand new Liqua popcorn popper and expand it. And the recipe says use one third cup popcorn, but I found if you use Orville Redenbacher, you need to use one fourth cup. It takes less popcorn when you use the high quality. Then we put this in the microwave, punch the popcorn button. Once the popcorn starts popping, you just keep your ear on it. And when the popping slows down or stops, you know it's all done. So I'm going to open it up just a few seconds early because I don't want it to burn. Now there's, it's going to be super hot and steamy, so you can let it sit or just get a hot pad maybe and let, the, let it cool. Then we take the good popped corn and put it in the largest bowl that you have. This is where using Orville Redenbacher popcorn really comes in handy because you'll find that they all are popped and look how very few kernels are at the bottom. And you don't wanna put the kernels or the crumbs in the big bowl, just the nice ones. And if you're using a high quality popcorn, it shouldn't be much. For a small batch of caramel, you wanna do two of these little one fourth cups. If you don't have a popcorn button, it's about three and a half minutes on high. Oh, okay, two bowlfuls ought to do it. Yay, Mr. Redenbacher, you make good popcorn. But we don't want to get any of those kernels in here. Nobody wants to crunch on a kernel when they're having popcorn. Take those and throw them away. Now your popcorn's ready. We're going to set that aside. It should look about this much for a nice family. All right, let's, let's make the caramel. We get out a heavy pot. See, it has a nice bottom, thick bottom on it. There are three ingredients in the caramel corn. One is cream. You're gonna need one cup of this. And then we have dark brown sugar. And CNH is the best brand, because it says on there, pure cane sugar. All the other ones are just white sugar with molasses added, so. That's good. So one cup of this, one cup of this, one half cup of white or light caro syrup. I put the cup inside, then I use the bag to push the sugar down because you have to pack it. So scoop up the sugar and then press it down with your hand. Feel it, it's all packed in tight. It should stick together. That means you packed it well. Now you gotta do one half a cup of the caro syrup. Here it comes, it's nice and sticky, clear syrup. You're gonna need a little scraper to get all of it out. I told you that we needed one cup of cream, but here's the trick. You don't put a whole cup of cream in at once. You put the cream in one third cup at a time. So find a one third measuring cup and only put in one third of the cream. Let's get it all out, get it all out. Now we turn on the heat, turn it up to high, and we're going to get like a nice wooden tool, so something that can really take the heat. Stir it all up. The heat is gonna melt that sugar and dissolve it and help to combine these ingredients. You can press, you can pound out all the lumps. We're going to take it up to a boiling temperature. So this has been heating up for about two and a half minutes. And now it's starting to bubble. Can you see that? Little bubbles are popping. Yeah, this is boiling. As you stir this, you, you kind of want to stir it and maybe turn the temperature down a little bit so it won't scorch on the bottom. Now look, it's, it's really a full boil. And you keep kind of scraping the bottom because we don't want it to scorch on the bottom. And you wait and you let it get thick. When we feel it starting to thicken up, we'll test it by dropping a little bit of it into a bowl with nice cold water. If you don't have refrigerator temperature water, then get a little ice cube in some water. You want the water to be real cold. I don't have any water in there yet because I want to wait and get it 
get the cold water. We just let it cook until it starts to thicken up. Your stove and your pot will be different than mine. So maybe the timing that it takes to come to a soft ball will, will be a little different. But I'm gonna let you know how long it took for mine so you can just have a little estimate of how long it takes. Still very runny. Now we're waiting for that soft ball stage. And when we reach it, then we're gonna add another one third cup of cream. So here we go, we're just letting it boil and thicken. Lots of things that are good take a little time and patience. Like grandpa, takes a little time and patience, but if you stick with them, it's worth it. <laughs> okay, this is starting to feel a little different. And I'm just curious, let's, let's just get some refrigerator temperature water and I'll show you if it's not softball stage yet, you'll see how it, it doesn't stay together. Oh, it's already to that softball. See, it, it clumps together. So it's, it's already softball. And that took about two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna put one third cup more of cream. Nice, put the cream in. And this is the fun part, and I'm gonna use my finger to get it all out. And then I have a little towel ready to wipe my finger, because we don't wanna get, we don't wanna lick it and get our germs in our cooking. It's very thin again, and we have to take it back to a softball stage. I'm gonna dump this out and get fresh water. Okay, let's look at what it looks like when it's not the softball stage. So I'm gonna get some water and drop it in, and, and I already know it's not softball, so let's see what happens. What it, does it look like? Oh, see, it just, it's, it doesn't pull together. It's kind of apart. But it's gonna happen fast, I can tell. Let me get this ready again. Oh, it's getting close, I can feel it. It's changing. But this is from my grandma, Nellie Jane Roylance Judy. She's the one that makes this popcorn. And my daddy made this kind of popcorn, Clarence Glenn Judy. And now I make it, Camille Judy Arnett. And it just isn't Christmas without this caramel popcorn around my house. All right, that feels good. Let's see what it looks like. Drop it in, oh yeah, see? See how it sticks together? And it forms a little ball. That is totally ready. Let's do our last one third cup. This is the time when it's gonna, it matters. If you mess up, then the popcorn will taste a little different. It took about two minutes, little, like two minutes and 13 seconds. When it comes to the softball stage, this time, it's going to be ready. And one of the fun things is you can, you can take a taste of, of this softball. Mmm, that's good. Let's wash this out and get it ready. If you let it go to the hard ball stage, then the popcorn will be hard. And if you let it go to the soft ball stage, it'll be perfect and chewy. It'll be just right. We're at a minute and 30 seconds. I can feel it's starting to change. See, that's when I'm stirring. I can feel the resistance in the caramel. As it gets thicker, you can feel it takes a little more to push. It's a very subtle change. Okay, I'm very curious to see if it's... Oh, okay. That's a little too, it doesn't hold together very well. So I don't think it's quite there, but it's, gonna, it's so close. I gotta stay right by it. Okay, let's try this. Yep, 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 that's better. Take this off the heat, let it sit for a while, and I'm going to add salt now. Now you can add how much salt you like. The way my daddy did it, he just did like an eighth teaspoon, a very little bit. You can do no salt or less salt if you want. Remember, there's no salt on that popcorn. 
if you use salted popcorn, you have to don't don't put salt in the caramel. All right, now it's time to pour it on the caramel. Now it's very hot. This is where I have this big spatula that can take heat and it comes in handy. It's from a pampered chef. You might want to get one of those. Okay, and you pour it. I just pour it on the caramel, on the pour the caramel on the popcorn. Now I gotta use that rubber scraper to get all the caramel. So see how I just scrape, scrape, scrape and get every last bit. Pour it on the popcorn. Scrape it off the bottom and turn it. So I'm scraping the caramel that flowed to the bottom of the bowl and I'm turning it into the popcorn. See, there's lots of caramel at the bottom and on the edges. You want to scrape it all off. So I turn the bowl a little bit. See, turn the bowl, scrape the sides, scrape the sides and the bottom. Turn it over. That's the perfect amount. Perfect amount of popcorn to caramel ratio. So you've, you've got two times you did one fourth cup of kernels of popcorn and then you made a one cup batch of cream, one cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of caro. See, that's just right for a family to have delicious caramel popcorn. Do you like to have some, Grandpa? Yep, okay. Let's try a little bit, it's kind of hot. Mm. That is good. Okay, now don't forget to clean up. Awesome. Do the dishes. <laughs>